is where we kick things off tonight. It is a first alert weather day for all of us here in Colorado. That snow falling now will pile up overnight and be warned the coldest temperatures are yet to come. Once that snow did pick up this afternoon, the visibility for drivers went down. From our tech center camera, we could see those heavy snow clouds settling in. Now already, the Pooter School District canceled classes for tomorrow, and Colorado State University has done the same. Now that list likely to grow as we walk you through what tonight will look like. Meteorologist Chris Spears is going to let us know how the next few hours are going to play out. First, though, Kelly Worthman has been out on those streets for you this afternoon. Joins us now from Arvada. Kelly. Well, Karen, road conditions really are worsening by the minute, and we want to make sure you stay safe. Here along I-70, you can see westbound traffic appears to be moving just fine, but you can see for sure that snow is sticking to the roadway, and it is getting icier. Now, good news is CDOT is ready for this storm. Short time ago, we were actually out at one of their headquarters in Aurora, where we saw the snow plows being uh, loaded up with all of the material that they're using to make sure that these roads are not only clear, but also prevent them from being overly slick. We talked to one of the maintenance operate, uh, operations directors, and he said they actually had to change the game plan for this storm. Yeah, we had to change our tactics a little bit. You'll see us um, doing uh, a few more rounds, uh, just taking certain sections of the interstate um, little by little. Um, of course, our main focus is interstate. Our secondary roads aren't going to be uh, really looked at as much uh, until we get the interstates clear. Now back out here with our first alert weather tracker, you can see conditions right now temperature at about 25 degrees. Wind isn't too strong, just around four miles an hour. And that's actually one thing that CDOT says they're grateful for with this storm is that winds won't be potentially too much of a problem causing a lot of big drifts. But there is a lot of snow coming this way and we'll let Chris Spears break all of that down for us. Yeah, at least people can see when they're out there driving around. Kelly, thank you so much. We'll see you back at 6. And mentioning meteorologist Chris Spears, he is here now. And Chris, this is not going to be a fast-moving system. Uh, no.